OMG, what? Follow E, uh, OMG, who? Follow E, OMG, yeah, follow E, who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E, what's up? OMG, follow E, gang, 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 gang. What's going on out there in YouTube world today, baby? Well, today, y'all, I am doing a view viewer's choice, okay, y'all? And um, they wanted to see me do some Southern fried chicken okay um i have done other people's chicken um you can see those videos john legend and i have done snoop dogs uh, fried chicken as well y'all can check those videos out um however we are gonna do this viewer's choice and this viewer choice is very very dear to my heart his name is um reverend mark Terman. Terman. I think I'm saying it right, Terman. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, um, he has a great story, and I have to give him shouts out for being the person that he is and doing it all by yourself. So this video is all for you. Okay, y'all. So this is Southern Fried um, I'm sorry, Southern Fried Chicken. However, I'm doing it with a butter, a hot sauce buttermilk, okay? Or buttermilk hot sauce, either way it go, it doesn't matter, cause it's the same. But anyway, y'all, um, I'ma show you, actually, let me show you how I did it. Check it out. Okay, y'all, um, I am gonna show y'all how I clean my chicken and how I do the buttermilk with the hot sauce and let it sit overnight. Um, this is a viewer's choice, so we're gonna get started, okay? I already have cleaned my chicken. I haven't cleaned my, I cleaned it as far as um, cleaning it in cold water. I have done that already. Let me get you down here so you can see what I'm doing. Always clean your chicken in cold water. You see there is no pinkage. This is clear. Okay. So I'm going to rinse it one more time because we got some stuff we got to cut off of this here. We have some stuff we're going to have to cut off of here. But I want to do one more rinse and then I'm going to show you the things to cut off of these leg quarters. Because I didn't need a whole bunch of chicken because there's only two of us in here. So I only have a couple of pieces of chicken that I'm going to fry um fry so i just want to show y'all this part of how i clean my chicken okay so we're gonna get a cutting board that i have already cleaned and we're gonna re-rinse this one more time too okay but i want to show y'all how i do this and this is gonna go extremely fast trust me because it's not much to really clean if you do it this way. Okay. That's enough water. So now I'm going to bring you down here. Let me see. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm going to bring you down here to show you each piece. that I'm How I'm going to cut it. And you're going to need shears. You're definitely going to need your shears. So the part that you're going to cut off. Off this chicken right here. I cut all of this. And I cut all of this extra fat that's leaning right here on this chicken. So I just go right down here with the scissors. It's easy than using a knife to me. And you can just cut this stuff off. And this is optional. I just cut it. I cut as much as I can off of here. And then I get this extra fatty part right here. I get all that. And guess what? I'm done. If you have a little extra on this back part here, just cut it right on off. That's it. And there your chicken is clean. Let me do a couple of more for y'all. Because some people, you know, might not know. They may not know. And you don't have to get every piece of fat off if you don't want to. You really, really don't. But I get the parts that I want to get off. And you do yours your way. This is how I do mine. Okay? Uh-oh, I left a little piece up here on the tip. I didn't know it was hanging there until I got ready to put it back in the water. And I'm going to rinse it one more time. Now, I already rinsed it twice before I started the video. 
But I'm going to rinse it one more time. Oh, I was going to put that in the water. Caught myself. And sometimes it had like this little sticky yicky piece on them. Sticky piece. I cut that on off too. Okay. Let me turn it a little more light in this way. See if y'all can see. Then I get this part right here. Sometimes cleaning these leg quarters is kind of hard because with a knife to me, but it's so much faster when you clean it with scissors. I got two more to do. I hope y'all get it, can get it from what I show, how I'm showing you. Get this little fat right here. Okay. Then it got a little extra fat down up in there. I need to cut that. Okay. That look pretty good. That don't have much flop to get right there. And I, like I said, I don't cut every piece of fat off. I think I got one, two more, one more, one more, one more, and then I'll be done. Because I only have a few pieces of chicken. I don't need a whole bunch. Okay, come and get this little piece. Okay. And there you go. So, we're going to rinse this off one more time. Let me bring you back over here. Back over here. Now, you see that little extra, all that little extra from me cutting it come out? We're going to rinse it one more time. Just one more time because you want all that little extra off of it. Okay? Well, I do. Some people might not if they felt like they already done cleaned it. Uh-oh. I don't even have the water all the way over. Get some of this stuff out the way so I can finish up. Now see how clean the water is now? And you can always do it one more time. I'm going to do it one more time because that's what I want to do. Okay? All right. And while that is doing that, I'm going to bring y'all back over here. I'm going to bring y'all back 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 over here so we can get that can sit over there and that can sit over there in the cold water for a minute so we can get the buttermilk and the hot sauce together so you're going to need a bowl with a lid and what you're going to need is you can use low fat buttermilk or you can use this cured buttermilk doesn't matter we're going to shake it up really, really good. I'm going to pour it in a bowl. Okay. And then we're going to get some hot sauce. As well. And pour it up in here. If you're using... Let me see. Let me not say until I stir it up a little bit. However, I want to get a little bit of um, some minced garlic out to go in here. And this is very, very optional. You do not have to use it if you don't want to. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. But I think I already got one open. Hold on. I'm gonna use some minced garlic and you can use as much as you want to. I'm gonna use me one tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna just mix this up before I need know if I need to add some more hot sauce.
Yeah, I'm gonna need to add a little more hot sauce in this here. So it's gonna be a little bit over half a bottle for me, but I bought it anyway. So, um, and you can make as spicy as you want to. I did not use a spicy, spicy one. I use one that's a little bit more spicier than the one that I am used, that I normally eat. I did do that. But guess what? It's not going to be as spicy as you think. And you can use a mild one. You don't have to use what I used. Okay? I'm going to pour the water off of the chicken. I'm just using my hand to get as much off. And then we're just gonna, let me see. Yeah, and we're just gonna lay this in here and it's gonna sit overnight. This is gonna sit overnight. Okay. Cause I'm getting ready to take my shower. So I wanted to put this in here. So this will be ready for tomorrow. And all I have to do is take it out and fry it you know what i'm saying do you know what i'm saying this should be good so we don't have to put any other seasons or use anything else we will use that tomorrow then we're gonna just take the top as such make sure it's good and down now and we're gonna swirl it around swirl it around if you got a good bowl you can turn it upside down if you got a good bowl, but we're going to swirl it around. And y'all, all you got to do is put it in the refrigerator. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to go take my shower. Peace. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I hope y'all enjoy how I actually mixed everything up. So that shows you everything that was inside of the buttermilk. And with the hot sauce, with the minced garlic and everything. So we're going to show you how it look the very, very next day. I don't want to put that in my water. But this is how it looks the very next day. I guess I'm going to have to lift this up because we're not going to waste that. Okay, so if y'all see that very well, or let me move a little bit away from the light. That's how it looks the very next day. And it smells good. So we're going to go ahead and strain this off. I have my strainer already right here. We're just going to strain that buttermilk right on out of here. So. How y'all doing out there? And while that's draining a little bit, let's go ahead and thank the mothers, the fathers, aunties, single parents, anybody that is doing anything to take care of kids all by your lonesome or with a partner. I just want to tell you I appreciate you, I adore you, and I thank you so much for all that you do. Okay, let's check this out because we might need to help it a little bit. And it really doesn't matter if all of it go out because all we really want to do is take this pan and kind of shake off the ashes and put it right here in this pan. We're just going to shake off this ashes and we're going to just put three in here for right now. And that's what I want to do for right now is just to shake off the ashes. And then this can slowly drip and drain the way it want to. Okay. Now what I put, I'm going to season this with, is going to be onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, parsley, Larry seasoning salt, uh, paprika, and cayenne pepper. This is what's in this jar right here. So let me let y'all come down here and see what I am doing to this chicken. Well, let me let y'all see what it looked like in the pan. That's what it looked like. So let's get started. All right, let me get, I don't want to whip my hands up. So let me get a spoon. Because once you wet your hands up, you got to wash it. And I still got my chicken over there. And you give it a nice little amount. You don't have to be scared because you want this to be seasoned. Okay? And it don't look like, trust me, it's not a lot. It's really not a lot. Because you're going to rub it in. Rub it and pat it in. Because we don't want to rub out the little flavors and stuff off of it. Okay? We want to keep that. Some people might pat theirs off, but I don't. That's the reason why it's soaked. Okay? I 
let's see if we can get the spoon again and put it on here because I like to cover my chicken boo I don't want a piece to be without a little seasoning okay okay and then you can really just shake the excess off of it if you want to you really don't have to pat it in because guess what the moisture is there so there you go here you go there you go there you go all right that's still draining a little bit you know what i could just sit this right on top of here and let it drain right in this bowl so it can get out of my way how about that all right there we go because i didn't want to do too much at one time and i know i'm gonna finish all of this off the camera anyway so the rest of the pieces off the camera I already know that for a fact. Okay? Alright. So, I got my oil over here. Now, what I have in my flour. I have only onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and cayenne pepper. That's the only thing that I have in here. I didn't put any salt, extra salt or anything like that in here. So, you're only getting salt one time and one time only. Okay? Let's get that in now. We're gonna shake this up first by itself so it can get fully coated. Then we're gonna put another piece in here so it can get fully coated. And then we'll put that third piece in here. So hopefully we can get three into this here Dutch oven. I'm doing mine, frying mine in a Dutch oven which is nothing wrong. You can use whatever you want, but I want mine to be in a pot where it's gonna fully cover the chicken. Okay? Let me wash my hands. Well, I just wash the tip right down. Cause I definitely, definitely don't want no issues. And then I'm gonna turn this heat up on here because that heat has to be at a certain temperature. Okay? It really, really do. And let me get my thermometer out and check and see what it's on. Mm -hmm. By this being fresh grease, sometimes you have to let it heat up a little longer. Yeah, I don't know yet. Anyway. Let me do a little test, and I told y'all how I do my test. I do my test with a little bit of flour to see if it's ready to fry. And this is not ready to fry. So, let me get the other two chickens and do the same thing, and maybe by then, it'll be ready to go. So, I'll show it to y'all one more time. We just want to shake the excess off. I don't want to pat mine at all. Because I want the flavor on them. Why waste it? You know what I'm saying? Let me wipe up a little bit these little drippings. This is what I do. I always like to clean. So anyway... I like to clean up behind myself when I'm cooking. Okay. I'm not actually going to pat this one this time. Because like I said, you could just really shake it off because it's already good and wet is going to coat it anyway. Okay. So, let me turn this one around first. And then you just let the acids drop really on the wet spot, so. This is gonna be good, y'all. I can feel it. I use this last little bit, it don't matter because it's gonna drop off anyway. So, there you go, you just shake it on off. Shake off the acids. 
and there you go. That's all it takes. It doesn't take much. You know what I'm saying? It really, really don't. Okay. I'm going to do another test. Let this butter, pour this buttermilk on down the drain so I can wash this. Oh, I forgot to put the garlic in there. So it could have, you know, caught up in the little holes and that's how come it drain the slow. But anyway, let's get back to this chick on. Okay, let's do the test. I'm going to put y'all over here so y'all can see how I do this, okay? Get a good angle for y'all. So you can see how you know when it's ready. I just take a pinch and then you see a good fry. Nah, we need a better fry than that. We'll get a few more seconds in. I'll wash my bowl out. I might cut some of that part out. I'm not sure. It just depends on how I feel. Or y'all can just go past it. Because I hear some people, they really like to watch people really, really cook. And they don't really care. And then you have some people that do. But we can't satisfy everybody. All right, y'all. It shouldn't take much because I already put it up there a little higher. And I don't want to start it off too high. Let me get what I need as far as utensils. Did I get everything, everything but this top? Let me wash that real quickly. And then I'm gonna need something to put this on when I'm done. We'll figure it out. Don't worry, we will figure it out. And then I have some potato wedges over here to go with this. Instead of like regular fries or whatever, I have potato wedges. So let's see how we caught up to the frying part that I want. Now see, they go to sizzle. And that's what you want. You want to hear that sizzle. That's the seasoning that's floating in there right now, coming out of the bag. So don't sweat. There's nothing in there that ain't supposed to be in there, okay? But then you get that bubble down in there where you can see... It is ready, but let me put my thermometer back in here to make sure, because I want my chicken to turn out right. Yeah, it went straight there. Oh, woo, woo, yeah, we there. We there. We good in there. So we're going to turn this down because it's already high. It was on eight, really, and then I turned it up to go ahead and catch up. So let's grab our first piece and hopefully we can get three in here at one time. And this is fresh oil. Yeah. There we go. That's what we want. Bubble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. That's what we want right there, y'all. I think I'm going to get all three in here. Yes, I turned it down to seven. It's gonna bubble up a little bit. But that's what you want, and then you turn your heat down. You don't want to cook it too fast, and then if you cook it too fast, you think it's done and it's not. So I turned it down to seven, and it's gonna slow down, it's gonna slow down. Go ahead and flour up my other two pieces of chicken. All right, now I'm showing you how to do this bread.
Yeah, don't bother it for a minute. Don't even touch it. Just let it sit there and make it do what it do, baby. Get this pan ready so I have something to put it in afterwards. They ain't got a little And if you want to time it yourself to see how long it took me to do it, that'll be great. Because I really want to show him how to do this because of his situation and how to prep stuff the day before the coffee situation. We never know what another person is going through in their life. We never know what a person is going through. And sometimes we can give quick things and show people quick things to do and quick meals to do to help their life be better. Then I'm, I'm glad to be able to do that. I'm just cleaning up a little bit here in the back. That's all, putting up the seasoning and all of that stuff. Let me see if it needs a little more lighting over here for y'all. Yeah, y'all might just come up a little more. Get my pan ready so when my chicken get ready to come out, it'll be ready to go. Been in there a minute. We're not gonna flip it, I don't think, because we gotta see what it looks like. What is it doing? We just pick it up a little bit. Okay, we're leaving that alone. Just turn that down just a little bit more to six. We wanna rush it. That's the one thing we don't wanna do. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little break, let it cook a little bit, and then I'm going to come back and finish the cooking, okay? I'm not going to complete it. I'm just going to let it cook a little bit so it can be where it needs to be. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I am back. I am not happy with the way my chicken looked 100%, but I'm not mad at it. I think it was the oil. But it still looks good. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. I don't like the oil that I use. But however, this is your southern fried hot sauce buttermilk chicken okay Reb I did this for you and I hope that you are happy with what I did so I just tell y'all to like subscribe hit that bell button comment down below and come back cooking with OMG what follow E OMG who follow E OMG yeah follow E who that be hell that be me hey.